So it's Friday, we're back from school drop off. I didn't get a chance to eat before. We were a little, little behind, just kind of a rough night. Um, so we're just having some eggs and those leftover banana pancakes. And I did a, a 12 ounce coffee today. Like I said, it was a rough night. Luke's, or Jude's a little congested. It's probably like his first little cold, but I think just the change of seasons. He's just a little congested, so, you know, it's, sleeping is difficult, but um, he seemed okay. He seemed better this morning, so he's napping. We're just enjoying this lovely day. It's supposed to get up to like the 80s today, and for the next couple days, it's supposed to be pretty hot. Um, which isn't super fall-like, but that's okay. I think this weekend it's gonna cool down. I think then it'll be like officially, um, might be the end of the heat. So we're just gonna spend some time outside. I actually am thawing some chicken right now because I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like meal prepping so that, you know, it'll save me someday in the future when I need it because we don't have to make dinner tonight. Um, we're going to my sister's for dinner. So um, maybe I'll work on that during uh, quiet time because I actually edited what I would edit today. I edited it, edited it last night um, Just because I sat down. I always upload my footage at night and then I edit the next day and I just had a little time So I just sat down and did it and I got it done really quick. So that was nice. So I kind of have a free afternoon So it's quiet time now. We have just had a fun day, just kind of hanging out and playing together and reading books. It's kind of nice to just put the camera away for a little bit. I know it's a vlogging month, but they're sleep, they're, you know, down for quiet time. I'm feeling pretty sleepy myself, to be honest, because of just Jude's very restless night last, last night. So I don't know if I'm gonna do this meal prep like I was planning to. I don't know, I have to eat lunch myself. I might take a nap, um, things need to be tidied and cleaned up, but maybe I should just take advantage of this time when the boys are sleeping and get a little rest myself. Alright, so I just had one of these Chobani flips. They are so delicious. This almond one is my favorite, and there was only one left, so to keep the kids from fight fighting over it, I just went ahead and ate it. Um, we still have more, but they're different flavors. Um, and then I'm just gonna have some avocado toast. I'm not like super hungry, so I'm just gonna have this. And then usually we have like a bigger dinner on Friday nights, so this is good. All right, so I was able to get like a 10 minute nap and then Jude woke up. So I think we're gonna actually go out early. We're gonna leave now to go do school pickup, but I'm going to drive through and get a coffee. That'll be really nice. A lot of times I don't have a coffee in the afternoon on Friday night on Fridays because um, usually we have coffee with dessert, but I really would like one and I didn't really get one yesterday because it got spilled and I don't have any more. So I'm gonna do that and then the boys will just keep sleeping in the car and then we'll get the girls. How are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Can you fill a regular place? So the kids set up a little snack and craft time for themselves. They were doing leaf rubbings where you put the leaf under it and you, you know, rub with crayon. And now they are outside. I think they're jumping in leaf files, being cute. Um, I finally got myself a little bit ready for the day. Um, you know, only took me half the day, but that's okay. Uh, and now I'm working on um, some meal prep, those chicken pot pies I wanted to make. So I'm just cooking up the vegetables right now. Gonna get them soft and then I'll put the chicken, I'll take that out, put the chicken in, cook that, put it all together, add some cream, and then I just need to make um, the dough. And I'm gonna use these oversized, or this oversized muffin tin to make little individual chicken pot pies. I don't know when we're gonna eat these. We could possibly eat them tomorrow. If not, maybe Sunday, or again, just freeze them and save them for whenever. But I'm not really following a recipe. I'm kind of looking at a recipe and just winging it, which I usually do. Um, but chicken pot pie is so easy. I feel like you can't really mess it up. All right, so I made 
the dough for the crust and I lined the bottoms and then I'll put the filling in and then top them with a bit of the crust. I don't know if it's gonna, I feel like some of it might seep out. I'm not sure how much this is gonna like expand, but I've never done it in these, in this size, so it's kind of an experiment. I think we have a lot more filling then. Well, these are adorable and they cooked perfectly. This one's got just a little bit popping out. Otherwise, I think actually, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that because there's a little bit of space that helped the steam to come out, even though I did slit the tops, but you know, it didn't like ooze out. Everything is cooked pretty, pretty perfectly and it's a delicious flaky crust. So those are cute. That was a good little trial uh, attempt. I would definitely do that again. I still have more filling. So I'm thinking of just saving that. Maybe I'll turn it into like some soup. Just add some more broth to it and make like a creamy chicken soup. Um, but these are adorable, so I'm gonna let them cool. It is six o'clock now though, so uh, Dan just got home. We are gonna head out. I'm just gonna load the dishes, run the dishwasher. I think I have a load of laundry in the dryer that I might have to fold. But yeah, I didn't really didn't uh, show much of anything today. I didn't do a whole ton. Um, I did fill my tank with gas, so I feel good uh, for the weekend. The kids were just coloring and um, they all got marker like all over their clothing so i have to pre-treat all this and get that clean they have these like scribble scrubbies um someone asked me before about like kids toys and suggestions for like going into christmas we don't do like a ton of toys like, they love their stuffed animals they love books um but as far as like toys they do really like this they got it for christmas um we have two of them so it's like you can color on the little characters and they're they're all white so like you can color with the markers and then you can wash them so this one came with little brushes and then the other set has like a little bathtub that you can like pump the water out and it sprays down so they do love this they do it um kind of frequently like not every week or anything but this is definitely a toy that they got last christmas that they have used continuously so that's a cute one and they have like different sets they have like um I don't know, like wild animals and like, I don't know, all different things. Like the ones that they have are like cats and dogs and maybe a bunny. It's like pets, but I think they have other styles too. And then I'm gonna bring these Converse tonight because I have a friend that's coming that these might fit her. So I'm gonna offer them to her. I wash them, so they're all clean. I washed them in the clothes washing machine. I took the laces out and washed them and then relaced them. So they're clean. Um, I did list them to sell, but I haven't gotten any bites. So I'm going to offer them tonight and see if she can wear them. But I'm just now going to gather up pajamas to pack to bring tonight. We usually do that. And then when we're leaving wherever we are, we can put the kids in their pajamas so that when we get home, they just go right to bed. We've kind of always done that. And occasionally someone will comment like, oh, that's such a good idea. Like, that's just always what we've done. I think because we, when we go places, we usually stay pretty late. Um, my kids are night owls, I'll just say that. So they have no problem staying up, but then, you know, it's just nice to have them in their PJs when we go home. But, so I'm just gonna do a little tidying and then we're gonna head out. The next day now it's saturday morning i filmed so little yesterday that i'm just gonna combine it with today's vlog and just put them together uh we had a nice morning we had pancake breakfast that we usually do dan has work today unfortunately so it's just me with the kids so we did breakfast we did saturday morning cartoons now we are all packed up and we're gonna go out to a farm well it's like an orchard i guess an apple orchard but they make their own cider there and they make their own cider donuts with the cider and i think that you can actually like watch them make it or at least 
I don't know. They know they make them on the premises. I've never actually been there. I, I mean, I went there years ago, but I never actually saw the cider process. So we're gonna go there today. I'm gonna attempt to take all the kids by myself. I'm gonna bring my carrier so that I can wear him. It depends on how busy it is, if I'll bring the stroller or wear him. I don't know, it's a gorgeous Saturday in October, so it's very likely it's gonna be busy there, but I really don't know. I've, again, haven't been for a very long time. Uh, since like before kids is the last time I went there, I think. So we're gonna head out and hopefully have a, a lovely fall afternoon. Look at this little log cabin up here. Aww. Look how cute. Look at this little log cabin. Even their mailbox is a log cabin. It's so cute. Because Lauren, is that like the size of Lauren and Mary's log cabin? It does look like, yeah, similar. donuts, two plain cider, two pumpkin, and two cinnamon. They all had the powdered sugar. And one of these cider twists. They're delicious. We already broke into them. It is such a gorgeous day. It's not too crowded. I mean, there's definitely people here, but it's not too, too crowded. We just went in and out of the, the little cider mill there. mill that was such a lovely lovely day it was gorgeous outside and just the drive there and back is so stunning and it's still like a little bit green that means like in a week or so it's just gonna be gorgeous like it's kind of up in the mountains so it's just like you know as you're driving like it's just like trees are surrounding you and they're all like bright orange and red and so beautiful so, so beautiful. So we had a lovely day. Uh, three out of four kids are napping, so that was nice. Um, and then you saw I stopped and got some eggs. We needed some eggs. And I mean, can, can you even imagine a more beautiful <laughs> selection of eggs? These are like too pretty to eat. They're absolutely gorgeous. But we're just gonna have, you know, a quiet time now. Let everybody rest. Um, the girls might do, if Lara wakes up, they might do that art class, that online art class that they have. It's it's kind of like open, like the videos are released once a week, but they can really do it any day that they want. So maybe they'll work on that today. So I'm actually gonna have one of these little chicken pot pies now. They taste really good. I mean, you could eat it with your hand too, but I'm just using a fork. I washed all the eggs and I accidentally broke one. But they're just so pretty. I just wanna show it to the kids. Look at that nice big uh, yolk. I'm definitely gonna save it. But these are, I mean, just so beautiful. And the girls are working on their pictures. So what was this one called? Great Wave. The Great, great wave. The Great Wave. 
Looks this good. One's mm -hmm. So it just got super dark outside and then crazy windy. Oh my gosh, it's about to storm. I didn't even know it was going to rain today, but oh my gosh, I was just cleaning up out here and it started like whipping the window around. I already brought in the umbrella. I didn't want that to get pulled out of the table. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know it was gonna rain today. And I just got an alert on my phone. There's like severe thunderstorms on the way. They just opened the door and all these leaves blew in. And there it is. Wow. All right, so Dan actually came home and we were gonna go to my parents for dinner. He was gonna help them with another part of the wine process and then have dinner there but Jude still has this lingering cough and he didn't really get good naps today and he had like just fallen asleep for a nap before Dan came home so I decided just to stay home with him and help him you know just now the house is nice and quiet he'll get a good nap and um yeah so I'm just gonna stay home here I'm gonna do some laundry, just do some tidying up. I'll edit for Monday. I'm actually not gonna post tomorrow, but you'll already know that by the time you watch this. Um, and then tomorrow, we're going to a pie bake-off, kind of, like a pie contest, which if you're an OG Old World Home watcher, viewer, um, we actually did this two years ago, two or three years ago. I went to the pie contest um, that my friend hosts. So I have to figure out what kind of pie to make, but I think I'm going to prep the dough today. Then, you know, it'll be easier. It's probably better for it to chill anyways. Um, and then I can just roll it out and bake it tomorrow because we also have a birthday party tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's gonna kind of be a quiet evening here. All right, so it's like 8 p.m. now. I have just edited uh, my vlog for Monday and I cleaned up the kitchen, loaded the dishwasher, I'm gonna run that, work on laundry, the usual things. Um, Jude is still napping and like kind of a little bit restless, so I don't really wanna make the dough now because I use like my Ninja food processor to make it and it's really loud. So I think I'll make it in the morning before church and then, coffee. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna sign off for the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.